All right, what's up, y'all? So today we got a new segment, Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest, TJ Porter. What's up? What's up, y'all? We finally got TJ <laughs> Porter up here. Y'all been asking for a little while, but um, for the people that don't know, tell the people where you're from. Uh, I'm from Harlem. TJ Porter. Everybody call me. I mean, they should know you got a song called Harlem. Yeah, <laughs> but now nah, I'm from the East Side though, Tainos. From the Thrust, but I'm from Wagner. You can say that. Okay, so. How did you get into music? I always thought I was like, I loved music since a kid. Like, mm -hmm. since a kid, like, I just loved music. Like, I don't know. My favorite rapper growing up was 50 Cent. 50 Cent? Yeah. So you, feel, he don't, you think he influenced your music somewhat? Yeah. What song? Like, well, when you're rapping, rapping? Yeah, like shit okay. like that. All right, so what made you get into the melodic sound? Nah, it was just like, it was like, not that it, it was a wave at the time, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm gonna try it. So I just tried it. And then, I, actually, Wayne, hang on, lie, even though me and him don't fuck with each other no more. Oh boy. Wayne, um, Wayne had put me in the studio. Like, yo, you could rap, you rapping on all his songs. Like, when I got with him. He, he was strictly rapping. Yeah, and okay. then he like, yo, try to melodize, bro. I start trying the shit, start going to the studio more. Feel me? And I was just working. I start coming out with some flop. So around what age was that? Like probably like seventeen. Okay. Okay. So you practice early, early on. Yeah. But did you have like a vocal coach, or you was just nah? To... I was just in the studio. <laughs> when you melodizing and you picking new beats and things like that, you picking a different side of your brain. So you're gonna start. Learning how to do new flows, and you're gonna know when you're getting better, and that shit feel good as a person and as an artist. All right, so when you first started melodizing, I know Wayne was probably first to tell you that, right? So yeah. when you was doing it in front of your friends and shit, was they jacking it at first, or nah, I ain't even on front. <laughs> or you was My doing that by yourself? Nah, look, I was. I went to the studio the first time. Like, I went to the studio one time with Wayne, tried melodizing. It was alright. Then I, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna go with the gang. For me, like, might as well try to have a better vibe or something. Uh -huh. I go with the gang, I try some shit. I come out the booth, they like, yo, that shit whack, bro. Where am I? Gangster. They like, yo, that shit whack, bro. I'm like, oh, nah, y'all niggas is crazy. <laughs> they like, that shit, my cousin, my both of my blood cousins, it was mad at us. There was like 30 of us in the stool. Mm. And this is in a crib, though. This is in a crib. Yeah, Just a mic, feel me? He like, yo, that shit whack, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They stopped me in the middle of the song. <laughs> that shit is whack, bro. bro. I look, I looked at niggas and I'm just like, yo, is these niggas my man's? Like that shit. <laughs> I ain't know if like I ain't know how to take constructive criticism at the time. Uh huh. So, so what made you keep trying it though? Like they oh, wasn't supporting. I'm one of them people like, if you think I can't do something, I'ma show you that I can. Okay. Like right. that's that's where all my that's where everything coming from with me, like. Deep down inside, that's where everything come from. Like, I got to prove myself. Like, I got to prove all this shit to myself. Like, y'all might think I can't or can do it. I don't care about nobody's opinions. Like, I know real. I care about proving this shit to myself. Like, I told myself I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this shit. <coughs> okay. All right, so when did you start to see, like, everything go up for you? Like, what, what do you feel like was that track for you? Everybody going to say, do you care? But was it one before that? Yeah, you feel like? I feel like it was tricky. Like in the towns, I feel like it was one two one two, call the streets. I had made a remix to um, this nigga shit. I forgot his name. Um, you know what I'm talking about though, right? Uh, and it was like a remix. Dirk did the remix too, and then I had did the remix. That's when I started calling myself the voice of the trenches. Okay. You feel me? So that was like three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. So you know. Yeah, and I see people still running with that. So does that bother you? Or? I a lot of people ask me that question. And I just feel like I fuck with everybody. I show love. That's it. You feel me? So love if you want to call love and, and acknowledge. Yeah, like feel me. But if you moving crazy, and you feel me, then uh. But <laughs> I ain't on that shit. Like I show love to everybody. I don't feel no type of way to whoever running with that shit. None of that shit. I show straight love to everybody coming up in New York. Okay. Hey. And and the people that's running with it, I fuck with their music. You heard? Mm -hmm. Shout out Stunner Gambino. Yeah. Feel me? That's the young voice of the trenches too. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Shout out Dirk too. Dirk started yelling that shit. But y'all yeah. know where that shit started at though. Do you feel like um artists like Lil Dirk, he's mainstream. You feel like he saw you and 
Man, Mida took that from you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. I don't know. You know why I feel like that? And I fuck with Dirk. Mm-hmm. But nobody was yelling voice of the trenches. Nobody was yelling that shit. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing you. You could go back to songs from four or five years ago right now on my I'm SoundCloud. I'm trying to think right now. That's what I'm saying. You could go <laughs> four, or five song, four or five years ago on my SoundCloud, Voice of the Trenches. Like, Did you ever like connect or work with Dirk or anything now? Yeah, I fuck with Dirk. That's the bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, me and Dirk, I don't rush getting shit in with people. I feel like I just build a connection with you mm-hmm. first. You feel me? Like, I fuck with Dirk. I built a relationship with him. Like, that's bro. And I could text him right now. Dirk just plugged me in with some of his PR people. You feel me? Like, oh, yeah. try to help me get in a better situation with what I'm doing. Because, you right. know, I'm independent now. So, shout out to Dirk. Shout out to Stunner Gambino. We all the voice of the trenches. All right. So, speak on that. So, you're fully, solely independent now. Yeah. Do you want to sign a deal again? Or you feel like you want that? I, I had some offers on the table. It's just, I want a certain type of deal right now. So, I'm not just going to sign anything. And now I got artists signed to me, too. So, mm-hmm. and one of the labels right now just offered me like some shit for one of my artists, like seven figures. Okay. So, I ain't gonna So, lie. you wanna work a little harder? Yeah, because I need a joint venture. I ain't <laughs> up, need a partnership, everything 50 50. For me, I've been in fucked up deals. Like, I know how that feel to, for a person to not let you out your deal and all that. Mm. Like, when they have the power to, you heard? So, so, you truly feel like your deal was fucked up? I don't, I, I don't feel like my um, deal with Def Jam was fucked up. I had a good deal with Def Jam. Okay. That wasn't. But um, I feel like the contract I was on with like, my management and shit, it was like, it wasn't correct. Okay. I'm not going to say it was a bad, fucked up contract, but it wasn't correct. You could have got more, or you feel like you deserved more. I feel like it's not even about what you feel you deserve, because that would be me looking at somebody else, or you feel me? Mm-hmm. It's about, yo, if we in this together, then we in this together, you feel me? Don't. So you feel like it was one foot in, one foot out? Yeah, like okay. it wasn't two feet in. Okay. All right, so when you got out of your deal, um, what like what was that like? Like I know that was a process. So did you feel like unaccomplished? Did you feel like it was nah, about that time? Or? Hell no. I chose to get out of my deal. That's what everybody don't understand. Oh, Look, okay. boom. I wanted to get out of my contract, my management contract. Okay. In order for me to get out of my contract, my management contract, mm-hmm. I had a second option on my death gym deal. Okay. I was going to sign my second option. Mm-hmm. So I had to turn down my Def Jam deal wow. then to get out of my management contract. Okay. So I was like, fuck that money. I, <laughs> I'm going to just try. I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to bet on myself. You feel me? Okay. So fuck that money. I want to get out of this contract and that contract. All right. So now I go to Def Jam. Yo, what's up? Uh, can I? <laughs> no. We're not letting you out your contract. You so feel they me? Wasn't nah, they told me like. Yo, you make us money. Like, they literally told me that. Like, you make us money. Feel me? And shout out to Def Jam. They not a bad label. I just feel like they need some youth in the building. They not a bad label. They did everything for me, supported me oh. through everything. So I'm going to always have love for the staff and everybody in Def Jam. Shout so let's speak on that because a lot of labels do have older people, like, on their team and staff. Do you feel like we definitely need some more youth I in feel the like, label building? Yes, buildings? I feel like you need more youth in every label building because they got their ear to the streets and they know what's going on right now. So you feel like the staff wasn't understanding you? Yes. I don't feel like it was a bad... Okay. Um, like I don't feel like it was a bad label. I don't have any bad blood with Def Jam or anybody there. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I love Def Jam and the people. They gave me my first shot in the industry. Yeah. You feel me? But I feel like they need some youth. No, I'm asking that because a lot of, um, you know, labels feel like that they, they know what's best. Like, nah, they need some youth. For artists to openly say, like, you know, y'all need some people but, in the streets. Yeah, because the systems change. Yeah. And it's like people change with it. And if you don't change with the times, then what are right. you doing? True, true, true. So so you have a new, um, I guess, new artist that you're working with. Yeah, his name is Jesus Barksdale. And I got another artist. Her another name, Rachel. Artist. So what, you have a label name already? Yeah, it's We Gonna Ball. Okay, we gonna both. So that's the label name. So, um, what is it that you, what is it that a TJ a we, uh you gonna ball artist has to have? Uh, I don't feel. I feel like I just gotta see that you really want it. Like, even if your music not all the way there, and I'm not gonna say and say I'm gonna work with everybody or every artist I come across because I got my own stuff I gotta worry about. I got two artists. Like, I got family. I got you feel mm-hmm. me things to attend to. But like, I feel like when I 
I know a good artist, like the sound, like underground sound. I know what, what's about to get hot in the streets. I can okay. tell you what's going to get hot in the streets before, you know what I mean? All right, so what's one song you knew that was going to get hot in the streets? It was an example. Mr. Chicken, Forever. <laughs> yeah. And um, right now, Capella Gray, Gallus. I've, I've been tapped in with Capella. Mm. He had a show. I went to his show, kicked it with him. For me, chill. I text him every day. Okay, okay. And that, if you didn't hear that song, that song about the party. I didn't hear it. I got it too now. You got to hear it. I'm late. <laughs> so, um, so, when you make music, like, what's your vibe in the studio? Like, what do you kind of need to, you feel like, make that hit record? I don't feel like you could go in trying to make a hit. I feel like when you go in trying to make a hit, you don't get nothing done in the studio. Mm, okay. So, so, what is it? What's your vibe? Like, how do you get in your zone? You have to have been through something. Need your friends around, like what is it? I be chilling, like if it's a vibe in the studio, if it's <laughs> girls, if it's the bros, whoever. I could go by myself, or I could go with fifty people. Like it don't matter. Like I'm gonna record. Okay. I just, it, I just feel like when I'm sad, I'm gonna make a sad song. When I'm <laughs> having, like, so it really just depends on the mood. Yeah. All right. So let's speak on some of the collabs you have. You got a song with Young Zay, Richie Rose, KJ Guapo. How did some of these collabs come about? Uh. My block and Richie block used to be teamed up, like, you know, so me and Richie, we go way back, mm -hmm. fuck with Richie and shit. Um, Zay, that's my man's, that's my <laughs> Zay, me and Zay started off not even liking each other, though, like, we ain't fuck with each other. Right? Yeah. And then, like, on the music tip, it just worked out? Nah, it wasn't even about the music tip, <laughs> that's why we didn't like each other. Oh. He, my, look, you know, um. You feel like the streets kind of put y'all against each other? Nah, I feel like my man's put us against each other. Look, oh, okay. <laughs> look, one of my man, you know, um, Isaiah Washington, he jelly fan. Um, he, he played, played basketball. Yeah, in college. And okay. shit. Um, yeah. He was on live one day, so he playing Zay shit. This is like seven years ago, six years ago. He playing Zay shit. So the niggas like that's fire. And somebody commented something like, "Nigga, this not better than TJ new shit." <laughs> so then it went left from there. I ain't gonna lie, it went left fast, like. Zay got on the live. Nigga, that nigga not fucking with me. Oh, wow. I get on the live. Y'all be spicy on live. I don't know what it is. I get on the live, nigga. You about know, New York artists, but y'all be spicy on live. I, was, I don't come off like that, though. Like, if, on the real, I don't c try to come off cocky to anybody. Like, I try to be as humble as I could be. Like, I just want to chill. I, I don't even care for all that shit because I know what's going to come behind it. You feel mm -hmm. me? Drama. Yeah, like, it's going to be too much. And I, none of mine is going. I'm not going. None of mine is going. Okay. How do you feel about that though? But like, Zay is my man. Zay is my man. going mans. live and being spicy and all that. I feel, I feel like, like that shit is corny. Hurting their brand. I feel like that shit is corny, but I feel like it's hurting their brand in the long run, but it's helping them for right now. Okay. So you don't see no longevity in that stuff. And arguing? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's toxic. <laughs> So, um, so how did you get to, let's go to Brooklyn side now, how you connect with Guapo and KJ and everybody? I knew KJ since I was like eight. Okay. Like, everybody used to get light and shit. Yeah. So niggas used to go to dance events, ran into KJ a few times, Brooklyn niggas. I ain't gonna lie to Brooklyn niggas, they fake try to like, they fake try to front. My cousin like, just stuck it up, like, we not doing none of that type of shit. Like, wow. And then they just jack niggas. Like, yeah, y'all niggas is not pussy. I was young, though. I'm not going to sit here and say I was doing something. <laughs> but they just it's jacked like niggas after that. Man. After they jacked niggas, nigga, they like, these niggas not day room. We not day room. We on our bullshit together. Yeah. You feel me? Thank and then you. we was just mobbing them shits. So, um, out of all the songs you made, what's your favorite song? That's out. Not unreleased. Damn. You, do you have a favorite song? No, I, one of my unreleased songs is my favorite song ever. Nah, I just thought that's out. You can't do that. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> my favorite song that's out right now, though, I'm going to say probably, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Why, why is it you don't know? You feel like you've grown as an artist? Hell yeah. What? I'm almost in rock star mode. I'm not okay. there yet, but I'm almost there. Okay. That's, I never heard nobody say that. <laughs> All right, so would would you rather make melodic music or drill music? Melodic. I feel like drill is staying afloat for now, but that shit soon get faded. Niggas is tired of hearing that, bro. Like, 
Like, niggas want to be vibey, have good times. Like, I nobody want to. Yeah, I'm nobody, not angry no more. Yeah, like, <laughs> niggas are coming. You know what it really was? You know why drill was lasting so long? Niggas was in the crib. Nigga, I'm angry I'm in here. Yeah, put that on. You feel me? <laughs> so now that outside's opening, you need some more. It's vibes. vibes. He got a song called The Vibe. It's going to go crazy. Watch. Okay. I'm going to okay, play okay. a few after this. So, um, you uh, you speak a lot on people hating on you, want to take your spot. Do you still feel this way? Yeah, I do, <laughs> honestly. What is it that you think everyone is hating on you for? I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, like, that shit gets scary. Like, on a dead ass, on, yo, I call my jeweler right now. I was in the jeweler the other day, right? Mm -hmm. I'm dropping off some bread or whatever. A nigga that I don't even know, he came in. He said, yo, you TJ Porter, right? I said, yeah. He said, yo, mad niggas be hating on you. Me and all my bros in the jeweler looked at him like, what the fuck? He dead ass though. Random he just person. walked away. Literally. Random person. Word so what's the craziest thing that happened, fan interaction with you? I seen people faint over me. Like, so Chris Brown shit. I seen people faint on me, over me. Like, you know how that feel? Like, I'm singing to a girl like, Yo, and she just dropped. Like, what? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So what song was you singing? Do You Care. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. So, um, so do you have, like, any upcoming collabs? Any yeah, big features on the way? Yeah, I got a lot of big features right now. I'm tucking so right now. So you staying quiet? I'm tucking right Why now. Why are you staying so quiet? Because I, like... They litter to me. I'm smarter than them. Okay. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Real. All right. So, so, when what's your process? Like, what, what's what's the plan? Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Porter's gonna start dropping flock every week. I'm gonna give y'all what y'all want. The fans, the supporters. I'm gonna promote my artists. Okay. Yeah, my brand is gonna get bigger. We're going to start doing give backs to the kids, like, again. Because I was heavy yeah. in tune with that. I had slowed down, but I've been talking to, like, Foot Locker and Nike and Adidas. Okay, and so shit. you definitely got some big brands collabing yeah, with you. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to start my merch, too. I'm going to drop my merch. I'm tight. I should have had a hoodie on or something. <laughs> I got to give y'all kid packages. Thank you. Need those. <laughs> so do you, um, are you going to do a We Gone Ball Part 2 project? I feel like that'll come later down the line. Like I feel like so the next. So you ain't planning on that yet? Nah, yes. Look, I feel like the next we gon' Borg project is gonna have all my artists on it. Like I feel like by the time I put that out, I'm gonna be on a different type of CEO status. Like I gotta okay. be on a different type of level. Okay. So you know, a lot of people become CEOs and no longer do music. Do you feel like you'll ever come to that point, or you feel like you still want to do music nah, and I, be the CEO? I love music. I love music, so I feel like I'm gonna always be doing music, and I'm always tend to my artists. But I do also know that when you have artists, you gotta tend to them more than you tend to yourself. So I'm probably gonna have to cut back once my artists blow, cause all my artists gonna blow. Okay. Okay, cool. So tell the people where to find you, and where to find uh, us next. TJ Porter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, wherever, YouTube, look me up, Apple Music. And we got a new flock dropping. Real so soon. stay tuned. You gotta stay tuned.